What's going on, everybody? We're back. We're going to be opening the breakout booster offer this time. We went and we opened the, the BND offer. Uh, was okay. I mean, could have been, could be crazy. For some of you, it probably will be crazy because, I mean, some of the BND packs, you can pull some crazy, crazy pulls out of that. I've seen... I don't know if you could pull a limited, but I've seen a lot of people pull, like, full set cards, full champs. You know, you get a free 88, you know. I mean, I guess it's not free because it's, like, a $10 pack, but if you pull a BND 88 overall player, you can't be mad at that. Um, that's um, actually how we got uh, Malik Neighbors on our team uh, from doing the 85-plus pack for the Campus Heroes. So that last pack at the end of the season pass here, I don't know why it keeps doing this. It keeps switching. It should stay on the one I leave it on. Or, oh, back out. Go back into that. All the way over here. Even, like, the 82 pluses. I would suggest taking the 82 plus B and Ds because you never know what you can get. But the 85 plus right there, that could be an 88 B and D player. You just not, you never know. But... So we got a couple cards there. We finally, after going back and out and backing in, got our Drake May. And he also gave us this breakout badge. Use this badge to upgrade breakout champions, LTD player items, and enter breakout draft. Okay. So, all right, pretty useful thing. We also get one of these in the uh, special offer we're about to open. So we'll have two of these. So we'll keep those. Used to upgrade the upgrade the LTD. I wonder what we could do. Can I upgrade these guys with it? No. Okay. Alright, well we got a couple 85s. We didn't get anything crazy, like I said. Hopefully we can change that on this pack. We also got the um the mini pack, but honestly I thought this was gonna be a little better than what it is. It's just an 80 overall breakout player. Which you do have like I guess. Like almost a 7% chance of pulling an 85. But even an 85. I mean yeah. I guess you could sell it. But then 278 overall platinums. Like mm, I think they should have made it a $5 pack. And given us like 280 overall quick sells. Then I guess it is kind of comparable to this one. Although this gives you an 80 overall quick sell. 79 quick sell. So you get three quick sell cards in that. So, But this, we get an 80 overall breakout player. 182 plus breakout player. And then 285 break plus breakout players. And then, oh, we actually get two badges. So we'll have three badges all together. And if I, all right, I also thought that this only had 185 plus, so it's already better than I thought. Um, we got a 3% at pulling an 85 plus in the 80 overall one, an 18% at pulling in 85 overall in the 82 plus, so that's not bad. And then, ugh, we get a 4%, 5% just about, at pulling an 88 out of the 85. I wish they would have given us like a 10% chance. Come on. 10% chance wouldn't be too bad. And yeah, we get our breakout badge. This 2,800 points, I think it could be worth it. Alright, so let's get the uh, badges out of the way. Okay. I don't think the animations are different. I think all the animations are going to be the same in this. Which is okay. I mean, kind of builds the suspense. You never know what you're going to get. Could be wrong, though. I mean, besides the LTDs. Alright, so that's our 80. To be expected. Alright, 82. Can you get, get a little crazy? Nope. Alright. 
Okay. Two for two on the... Nothing wild happening here. Or 85 plus, though. Come on. Can we get an LTD? Get an 85. We could at least quick, uh, quick sell these. We could sell these ones. Alright, can we clutch it? On the last one. Is it? I think, uh... I mean, I'll take any of them. Oof, no LTD. Another 85. Alright. So what are the 85s going for? I mean, we do get two badges. Still not really sure what we can... Uh, it said something about a game mode. Do we have a house rules event? Oh, still the college rules. Do we have an online event? No. So what did what? What were they talking about? What do I need these tokens for? Win games, win games and breakout draft head to head event. Yeah, it's not there. Unless it's in the Mutt Draft. Yep, okay, it is. So it's under Mutt Draft, Breakout Draft. Use a Breakout Badge or 15k to enter the Head-to-Head -head Draft event. Each run will earn you rewards based on your wins, including Breakout Players Packs and Breakout Badges. Draft your team, and draft your team with Breakout Players, stomp the competition, and come out on top. What do you get? Okay, so five wins, you get an 85-plus overall breakout player. Four wins, you get an 82 overall breakout player. Three wins, you get an 82, 80 overall breakout player and a badge. And two wins, you just get a player. One win, you get 12K. Not a bad little event, honestly. Only costs 15K to enter. Or you could use one of your badges. But you could also use those badges it said to upgrade the LTDs. So. Not sure exactly what they mean by that. And then. Oh we should probably check out the sets real quick. Before I go and sell. So go to programs. They should be. Yep. Yeah, boom. Breakouts. Alright. So. You need two eighty fives. Exchange any three eighty five overall players and two eighty five breakout players to receive one eighty eight. All right, I don't. Oh, okay. Just because there, it could be any eighty five. Get that. So we just need really three more eighty fives, and we can do that. We can do this set right here. For an 82. I mean, that'll help us go up. Breakout badge exchange. What is this? Exchange 182 overall player to receive one break. Okay. You can do that five times. That's not too bad. Wish they took the BND players. And then, yeah. Need 582 overall players to receive 185 overall player. That's kind of harsh. So, those are the sets. I do like how they do give you an option to gain more badges if you don't want to stick onto the 82s. Which, I think we're actually going to do. Because I'll take an extra badge. Open pack. So now we got three of these. And I'd I'd be willing to bet you probably get them by doing the solos as well. Let's see. Showtime and breakout. So we got two sets of show so solos. Jeez, if I could talk today. Yeah, alright, so we get one badge right there. Get a Drake London token. Another badge. 
So we get two badges right there. In the showtime. Get another badge right there. Another Drake London token. And then another badge. So each of them give you one Drake London upgrade and two badges. So that's not bad. And that's... Ooh, you know what? We can only get 40. I should have known. So you're only actually going to be able to get two as of right now. One each. But at least they're pretty. You only need 10 for the first one. And you need 16 to get the second one. So that's not too bad. And then, I guess we had another pack to open. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same animation for every single one. Um, and, yeah, we're going to turn you into another badge, but adding our total to four. Six altogether, potentially. Not bad. Very interesting promo. Um, not sure when they're going to get that House Rules event going up. Or I guess they already have it up. We just didn't know where it was. So. It's actually underneath the house. No. No, it's not. It's underneath Mutt Draft. It's kind of confusing because it says it's a head-to-head -head draft event. So you'd think it'd be under head-to-head, -head, but it's actually under Mutt Draft. So. Yeah, and then five wins get you an 85 plus, and then you could sell, or put that towards the set. I uh, just want to check their price real quick, because they will be going down, especially if people are going to be doing that. A hundred K, hundred K for an 85, not bad. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, hit that sub button, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Till then, peace.